Welcome back to our channel. My name is Miss Chichi or call me by my name Elizabeth Chitechi. This is a glow up era podcast back to back. So as usual, you know, we do talk things that matter specifically here in relationship. We have never gotten enough when it comes to talks about relationship. Listen, today we are diving into a topic that resonates with so many in the dating world. Dating someone who is addicted to being single. Hello. Now, if you have not subscribed on my YouTube channel, you know the drill. Support my work. Don't forget to put the notification button on too. And huh? Also, do not forget to subscribe. On the comment section, let us talk. And thank you so much for all the returnees. Thank you for the newcomers. I really, really appreciate you interacting with me. Now let us get back. To the topic of today dating someone who is addicted to being single the feeling of being stuck in a relationship with someone uh, who is not quite ready to let go of their singlehood let me tell you is tough it feels like you are trying to move forward but they are holding you back and the worst part is this one that I've said, like you are moving forward, but this person is holding you back. That is the worst part. Any small inconvenience and then boom, they are out of the door, leaving you hanging there, wondering what just happened. Have you ever met somebody like that? You never know. You never want to know. <laughs> if this sounds familiar, stay tuned because we are going to break it all down from understanding why some people are addicted to being single to figuring out if this relationship is worth your time we are also um, going to wave in a story to really bring this you know lively you know eh? at least you understand more so our question is why some people are addicted to single singlehood singleness just being a single person let us start by unpacking the idea of being addicted to singlehood some people get so used to their own routines their own space their freedom to make decision without consulting anyone else that being in a committed relationship starts feeling like a burden to them these are the people who, at the first sign of conflict or discomfort, think, why deal with this? I could just be single and happy. You know, that is what comes in their mind. Like, wh why, why all this? Why should I go through the burdens of solving cases? I, I'm just a, I'm so uncomfortable. I'd rather be alone. Have you ever met somebody like that? Hey? Huh? But here's the catch. It's not that they don't want love, they don't want affection or maybe companionship. They do. They crave it, by the way. However, the minute things get too real, too vulnerable or too complicated, they retreat. It's a defense mechanism, if I can just put it like that. A way to avoid pain or discomfort. They are afraid that committing means losing themselves. And if you're one of them, then you have a long way to go. By the way, we understand you. We know, we know, we know, we know these things. <laughs> I have friends who behave like this. Now, let us talk about the difficulties in such relationship. So, dating someone like this means you are constantly walking on eggshell. You know, an eggshell is something so fragile. So you miss a point, you miss your step, you break the eggshell. So things go, wah, you understand? 
you never know if it's a minor disagreement them they take any minor disagreement to be something big okay this one will send them running maybe you forgot to text them back maybe there was a misunderstanding over weekend plans or maybe you expressed a boundary that were not ready to be handled i'm telling you they will run away in a healthy relationship these things are normal and can be work, uh, worked through but for someone addicted to being single these situations feel like threats to their independence look at this person small disagreement few ran away you just forgot to like say hi to them it's 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 a big deal to them you know you talk about something that they're not ready to speak about it's a big deal to them these people are just hectic to handle i'm telling you they must start pulling away you notice them becoming distant spending more time alone making solo plans or even hinting that they need space if you ever have if you ever encounter a friend who tells you they need space these are the kind of people i'm telling you it's like they're drained emotionally they're so exhausted with you they don't want to see you around them let me tell you that is how they pull away they just distance themselves you know i'm not talking about people who are like they are so envious about your progress you know there are people who look at you and be like why her why him why is it that doors have opened for her i i, I didn't know that that relationship or or she will blossom like i'm not talking about those people i'm talking about you know a relationship whereby somebody feels like i i don't need you i i, I don't need you closer to me you know i just need my own space run carry your bag and run those people you can never go far with them they will just drain you for no reason but we understand them okay um and you know sometimes they usually make you feel like you're the problem even when you are not like you feel like am i the problem what wrong did i do <laughs> don't worry that is how they behave now story time let me tell you a story to paint maybe a clear picture Okay so this is about a guy named uh, Darren and a woman named Zoe I will just I will just give them these names okay a guy named Darren and a woman named Zoe now story story so Darren was uh, in uh, his early 30s and had been single for most of his adult life he enjoyed the freedom of being single he had a solid career traveled whenever he wanted i didn't feel accountable to anyone but himself zoe on the other hand a character that i'm giving a name zoe uh, on the other hand was looking for a serious a committed relationship so when darren and zoe first met you know the sparkle flew they connected on many levels both were ambitious had a great sense of humor and enjoyed their independence darren seemed like the perfect guy zoe was excited about the possibilities of a future together and darren seemed um, equally invested at least at first however at as time went on zoe started noticing that darren would get distant whenever the relationship uh, become too real every time she brought up future plans he would find a way to change the topic when she suggests they spend more weekends together darren would suddenly need time for himself and when zoe once expressed feelings like heart because Darren would cancel all these dates you know and uh, Zoe was so hurt you know Darren's reaction was if it's going to be this stressful maybe I'm not I'm not into this relationship can you imagine like can you imagine that is the reaction of somebody like w- what is going on so anyway story story so one night after a minor disagreement um a, 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 about where to spend the weekend Darren told Zoe maybe we are not as compatible as we thought i think we need space zoe was heartbroken to her the issue was small something that can be fixable but to Darren it was the perfect excuse to hit the space button 
for Darren being single meant peace it meant peace being single meant control and his mind relationship meant sacrificing all of that he wouldn't he wouldn't do that so every inconvenience became a reason to leave i think you're now getting the idea of somebody who wants to be just single you know this is how hectic this relationship was like it can't work you are in that relationship alone now let us break down the trend why this is so common today in the our today world so in today's world this pattern is more common than ever with the rise of dating apps social media and an overwhelming sense of individualism people are more comfortable than ever being on their own independence you know has been glorified and while that's not um uh something not bad to those who feel like it's not a bad thing it can create challenges you know when trying to build a meaningful relationship because each time you'll try to build a meaningful relationship it won't work because you are in your alone world so many young adults today have become accustomed to dating fast jumping from one experience to the next without truly investing emotionally when things get hard they don't stick around to fix it they just swipe left and move on to the next person our today world is hectic commitment has become something so intimidating because it feels like losing okay it feels like it's an option for you like i can choose this and i'm okay with that If you find yourself in a relationship with someone who is addicted to being single, it's crucial to set boundaries. You have to know your worth. If someone is consistently threatening to leave or backing out of the small inconvenience, it's a sign that they they are not ready to build something long lasting. I want you to be clear about expectations and be willing to walk away. If they continue to treat the relationship like it's an option, you deserve someone who values you and is willing to work through tough times not someone who hits the eject button every time things get hard now look into your relationship ask yourself are you experiencing this if you are experiencing this it's high time for you to watch your boundaries it will work if you watch your boundaries you don't set your foot into someone else's boundary baby girl baby boy it's gonna work i know it's relationship is something so difficult does not come with a manual but once you understand the art of staying together and watching each other's back and setting your boundaries yo it's gonna be okay so in conclusion is this at the end of the day relationships are about growth they require vulnerability compromise and a share of vision of the future dating someone who is addicted to being single can feel like a constant push and pull but you don't have to stay stuck in that you know in that cocoon in that circle if you ever been in a relationship like this you know how draining it can be but don't settle for someone who does not know how to stay you are worth of someone who fights for the relationship as much as you do so Anyway, you have a reason to subscribe on my YouTube channel. This is Miss Chichi and I want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have experienced something similar, drop your thoughts in the comments in the comment section and don't forget to like, subscribe and share with anyone who might need this reminder. I'll see you in the next episode.